What's going on guys? Today I'm finally building a legitimate bathroom in my garage. Alright guys, so if you've seen pretty much any of my videos, you have probably noticed the random toilet sitting in my garage. I get a lot of comments on it. It's kind of funny. Uh, some people say I have the world's largest bathroom. I don't know, 2,400 square foot bathroom. That's kind of cool. But I think it is finally time to close it in so I have a legitimate bathroom. So if I have people over, they can actually use this without everyone watching them. My initial plan was to only close in the toilet. I was gonna have a wall where you see this blue line and then I was gonna go right next to the toilet right here between the toilet and the sink. But now after thinking about it a little bit more, I think that would have just made it a little bit too tight. And I think it's just gonna be all around nicer to just enclose the sink with it. And I'm gonna leave the door opening right in front of the sink so I can leave the door open and then the sink will still be easily accessible for uh, you know washing dirty hands or if I need to wash parts off. My main tasks for the bathroom are going to be studying out some walls running electric to it so I can have some lighting, putting some plywood on the outside for the wall covering, and then also building a door. First up, we'll be studying out some walls. I have two by fours for that, and I'll be using pressure treated for the plates on the bottom. It's always good to use that when you're going directly on concrete. And then I'll be using some regular two by fours for the studs, and then also the top plate that attaches to the bottom of the loft. And I think I'll be building the walls pretty traditionally uh, with 16 inch on center studs. I'm going to try to build all the walls on the floor and then stand them up. I'll just have to make sure they are the perfect height so they fit under the loft. And as far as anchoring, I plan to use some Tapcon screws that will drill into the concrete. Now I'll get started with the framing. I think I'm going to do this outside wall first because it is the most complicated.
All right, we've made a lot of progress on the bathroom here. We've got all of the walls studded out. Uh, we ended up building them on the floor first and then sliding them into place. And I secured them down to the concrete with the tap cons. You can see I did one uh, between each stud. And then up top, I made it so that the walls line up with a joist. So I had a great place to uh, nail those into. You can see I put two nails between each stud. Then for the wall uh, running perpendicular, I secured to the floor joist there with two nails in each one. Next, we started pulling power. I pulled power from this light switch uh, up, and then we drilled holes in the floor joist to run that cable the whole way over to the light switch, which is sitting here. And then from there, I ran all the lines to where the lights are going. Uh, there's gonna be one light here, another light over here, and then one in the bathroom, pretty much centrally located. So next up, I'm gonna start mounting the lights. I think I'm gonna put a, a two by four up there first and then do the uh, light box. I'll wire all three lights up and then I'll start doing the wiring at the light switch, install the light switch. And then after that, I can start with the wall covering. I think I'm going with some half inch plywood. All right guys, so I got my walls up. Uh, I got the plywood on them. That went really smoothly. I then went ahead and stained it and it came out a little bit darker than I wanted. So I did do a little bit of light sanding on it. It did lighten it up a little bit. As you can see, like it depends uh, what type of plywood and which way you have it flipped as far as what it looks like when you stain. Generally, I think it looks pretty good. I'll probably also put some uh, polyurethane on it, which will change the look a little bit. And then when I add the door, I think that'll kind of tie it all together. And I do like how the lighting came out. Um, I think the two under the loft uh, light the space well, especially at night. And then the one in the bathroom is plenty. And there is a good amount of space in the bathroom. 
Uh, it's hard to really tell, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't crazy cramped in here and there's plenty of room to uh, get to the sink, so I like the way that turned out. I do of course still need a door, but I have something custom in mind for that. So that's gonna be it for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new bathroom.